What's up team, Joe Mill back at you here with Killer Miller Q. Today we're gonna get a little bit of this game day bird together and we're gonna be doing a little bit of beer can chicken. Hold tight, I'm gonna give you a preview. And other than that, we're gonna jump right into it. getting to prepping this bird so we really don't got too too much to do these are both uh, roughly about six pounds one of the first things you want to do is uh, to, however you decide that you want to clean your bird out go ahead and make sure you take care of that get all that stuff out of the insides your heart lizard gizzards whatever it might be and then with that said make sure that you uh, take the time to pat away any moisture off of there as well from there I'm gonna be coming over and I like this right here this organic uh, olive oil as it comes out in a nice strong film, got a brand new can. And we're just gonna get a little bit of olive oil to coat it with. And I wanna make sure I rub it over everything so I pretty much get it over the whole bird itself. And this is gonna be a little something to give me a nice good sheen, as well as help my rub to start to stick. And give me a little protection. So today on this beer can chicken, I thought it was only appropriate that we use Miller beer. We are going to get into exactly how we break these cans down, as well as making sure you have one of those holders. Makes life a lot easier so you don't get halfway through your cook and see that your whole chicken has kind of fell over and all your beer is spilt out and messed up your pretty bird. So that's pretty much good there. A little bit of olive oil to coat. From there today, I'm going to be using this, uh, I can kind of get it in there, Cosmos Dirty's Bird Rub. I got an old shaker, so I never like to throw away some of my good shakers. You never know when you might make a seasoning yourself or something like this. Uh, getting it in that bag is usually a lot cheaper than if you actually buy it normally. So all I'm gonna be doing is giving a nice liberal coat all over this bird. And I'm gonna start on the breast side. I'm gonna give this thing time to hang out. Make sure we hit that seasoning inside of that cavity. Don't be afraid of it, we'll get a good flavor in there. This seasoning doesn't have a lot of salt. It's pretty savory, so I'm not too worried about over salting it. I'm gonna do both of these front side first. Again, pretty liberal. Get a good covering all over it. And what I'm gonna end up doing is gonna flip these babies over. And we'll do the back side as well. Make sure we get the inside of this one. And I'm gonna actually throw these back in the refrigerator as I put my fire together so they can kind of hang out and marry with this rub. But normally I might not put it back in the fridge and let it come up to temp with this chicken I am. And also, when we actually go ahead and throw this on the can, I always like to make the back side look good too, even though I don't eat it the end of the day it all matters it's presentation and it's gonna be flavor keep it safe right sounds good sounds good when I actually put this on the can though there's always gonna be a few spots that looks like it's missed so I'm gonna have to give that final dusting then but I just want to get a nice good coat all over so we can see what these birds are looking like I'll put them right back to where I want them to be Simple as that. I'm gonna bring you in. We also wanna start getting these beer cans already sitting out for a good reason. I need this to be coming up to temperature. We're gonna be getting this down to halfway. You can figure out on your own how we're gonna get there. Um, but we're gonna take this down to about halfway. Getting half of that beer out of there is gonna actually help it to warm up a lot faster when we're actually cooking along the way. And we're gonna be adding some good things into this can. I'm gonna show you how we set that up next. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw these back in the fridge just like you see. And then from there, we'll come back out get the can together, get the fire together, and get cooking. Hold tight. All right, so we got things pretty prepped and ready. Like I said, them birds are relaxing and chilling in the refrigerator and kind of marinating with that rub, and now we're gonna get into these cans. So we got rid of about half of that beer in both of these cans, and we went ahead and uh, used some pretty sharp shears and removed the rest of that lid to kind of open this thing up, one, so we can breathe more, but then also we're gonna add some things in here that's gonna make this lovely and give us some good aromatics along the way. Uh, part of the reason we use this Miller beer today, not only is it one, my last name, but 
Also, using like a domestic beer is going to have a lot more water in it, so it's going to allow it to steam a lot more. We want to get this stuff to like room temp at least when we start this. You don't want to put a cold beer in the cavity of that bird and then put it into your grill because at the end of the day, basically, it's going to stay cold. It'll make the bird stay more or less towards the cold side, and then um, at the long point, it's going to be a lot longer cooked for you. So basically, we're getting rid of half of it, getting it up to room temp. It's going to make it get to a boil a lot quicker, and it's also going to give us room to add some more good stuff in here. One thing that I want to do right off the bat is we're going to add us in a little bit of rub, which will usually get this thing kind of bubbly. We got a lot in there. We usually we get almost a bubble over just to get some of those flavors going there. And that's that uh, Cosmos Q kicking uh, chicken, I believe. If I made a mistake on that, I'll, I'll make sure I double back and let you know. Or the Dirty Bird rub, the Dirty Bird from the Cosmos Q. Other than that, I'm just adding in a little bit of thyme and a little bit of rosemary. Okay, along with, I got some garlic here and some onion. And everything's going to be pretty liberal as far as the, the chop. We'll leave it wide, no big deal. Toss those right in there. Garlic, clove, boom. And this one will be smart. We'll put the big stuff in first. Oh, that already smells good. Rosemary and thyme. You can use whatever fresh herbs you got available to you. Oregano could be good. Something like that. And basically, I'm going to let this kind of chill out and hang as my pit is now coming up to fully on temp. It's still getting warmer. And then from there, that's what's going into these uh, stands, which I'll make sure I put you a link in uh, Amazon. You can just put these... Uh, beer cans right into the uh, grill just like that and it'll pretty much hold but a lot of times like i said you can fall over these are cheap and easy and they do the job they'll hold your beer nice and steady and they'll make sure your chicken stays upright so that's how it's going to be that's what it's going to look like next thing you know we're getting this bird in here we are now that we didn't came back out the fridge grill is up to temp and these babies are looking i got lots of glare and everything they're looking good it's married up real nice with the seasonings we've already put together these beer cans so i'm gonna throw these babies together get them up on the stand i'll let you see what it looks like when we get it in the grill and let's get off to the cook hey team we back in here the birds go we take a time, got them on the uh, stand, as well as dusted them off. I like to flip these wing tips back a little bit so they don't get all burnt up. And then I got a probe in both of these breasts. Um, and then we'll kind of rotate these along the way to kind of get them going. I did hit them with a little bit of dust in a couple spots where maybe it fell off as I was touching on it, putting it back on the can and everything. But for the most part, this is pretty much what they look like coming out the fridge. It held well once it got to sit. I am going to take a quick second and hit it with a little bit of this uh, olive oil to kind of get it started, give it its first little glaze. And then after about an hour, we're going to come and check this thing out. It should be looking pretty beautiful. And then we're going to start to glaze it or real nice and easy with a little bit of butter every 15 minutes after that there we go so i have to put you in nice good sheen on there give it a nice protective coat should get it pretty all right team so we smoking along here we're about to uh get into taking a peek at this uh chicken we've been going on about an hour and 20 minutes at this uh 300 and like i said this stone star for the most part been holding steady freddy oh yeah we looking good starting to get us a little bit of color on here He's juicing. His berries is dripping. And pretty much this is what we're gonna do. Put my pillar right on in there with it. And we just gonna drizzle it right on top to kind of get to the rest. So as far as my temperature, I was reading about uh, 135. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes. I rotated, I've been in here a couple times before. The very first time I came in, the only thing I did was reheat them with another hit of the olive oil. The second time I came in, I went ahead, it looks a big difference from there. Ashy, classy. Ashy, classy, okay? Uh, the second time I came in here, I made sure I went ahead and made the, the rotation, put one from the other to kind of get one closer to the fire. So I don't want to mess up too much of what I got going already as far as the um, outside. So I'm just going to let it just drip right over the top and kind of more or less pour right onto it. Get you a nice close up. 
rather than trying to base it in and rub it in and I'll make rub spots. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another 15 minutes and I'm coming back in here to do the exact same thing again. And when I come in the next 15, that looks beautiful now. Check that out. Get us a nice picture of that. When I come back in, I make sure I thumb repent it and then uh, check these things out. All right, we popping back. It's about an hour and 40 minutes roughly. We've been piping along at about 300 degrees uh, using this oak wood for the seasoning, and we look good. I just did an internal probe temp check, and then one of the first things that instantly, as soon as I opened up the pit, let me know it was about that time, was there was a little bit of a tear initially I saw in that one of those chickens in that thigh area, so that might have been that. But once you usually start seeing skin splitting and stuff like that, that usually lets you know you might be about done. Let alone my color looks pretty good. So with that said, I probed it all the way around and uh, we look good. So I'm about to pull these off the pit, let them sit for a second, and we're going to bite in and see what's up. One of these I'm going to go ahead and glaze with a little bit of barbecue sauce, set it back on the pit for about another good five minutes to let that sauce set. And then uh, we'll see what we got on the back end. Hold on, T. Well, we got this bird sitting here resting. We're going to get ready and... Uh, Get the other one here glazed up real quick fast and let it chill out for a second on the smoker. I'm going to mix a little bit of this sweet baby rays together with a little bit of this uh, honey to kind of cut it down. And then we're going to drizzle that right over the bird. So I'll show you a little bit about how that will look. Get us a little bit there. And don't need too, too much honey. Uh, I brought my fork, but this will work just fine. I remember now we didn't added lots of good old-fashioned sugar together, so it's going to be a nice sweet rub on top of that sweet baby ray, sweet and spicy. And um, we just want to make sure that we don't leave this on there too, too long. And again, I'm just going to kind of start it at the top. This is already room temp, but it's going to kind of run for me a little bit. And I'll kind of help out where it's needed. Brush up at the bottoms. We'll let it just kind of drip down and do its thing. I'll just cup it up my busted leg over here. what it'll look like got it nice and basted a little bit we're gonna let this chill out for about five minutes and I'm gonna get this one off we're gonna let them both chill out for about 10 15 minutes we'll get a taste all right team that's a wrap thanks for kicking it with us and if you're new to the channel take a second check out the description for any of the links to some of the products that I use today as well as take a second to make sure that you like and subscribe but other than that let's go check out the product Damn. there we go beer can chicken check it out check it out both of these got a chance to rest for about a good 15 minutes here we got the one to the right with a little bit of barbecue sauce and the one on the left that was left unsauced. And uh, both of them got that uh, Cosmos kicking chicken on there. Both of them came out looking pretty good. We about to dig in here and get a taste. All right, before we lose all our daylight out here, let's go ahead and look into this chicken. It's gonna get us a taste in. Let's see if I can't get us a solid cut off of this breast. Oh, that sounds beautiful oh yeah i tell you what i don't know if i can get it in there right to focus enough tender roni and i can already see that i'm about to get a drip to formulate there this came out absolutely pretty great flavor very juicy very tender definitely like that bro like I said when it comes to Cosmo can't go wrong now I want to check out the one we put a little sauce on still got the Cosmos on it other than that we got that uh, sweet baby rays I think it was like sweet and zesty or something like that sweet and spicy and uh, was mixed with a little bit of honey so we cut it down a little bit
this is I could have went to carving school the way these is coming out. I'll make sure I'm pull you in close so you can check these out. But um another piece that came on flawless, beautiful white. I can already tell you now, I like the barbecue sauce better. That sauce is perfect complement to that chicken. The smoke on both of this is so subtle, you barely even notice it. So at the end of the day, the barbecue sauce gives it a nice little extra additive on with the rest of the rub and everything else. Definitely give that rub a try. If you get a chance, that's that Cosmos Q. Um, if nothing else, use whatever rub you want. Try your own beer can chicken. You can't go wrong. A lot cheaper than the most everything else. Thanks for hanging out. Until the next cook, we'll catch you then. Peace.